everyone, it's Terry Kent from C3, and today we are headed over the mountain to Black Bear Composting. So we're gonna find out from the owner, Eric Walter, what exactly happens to our food scraps here locally when they're put in a composting facility, how it works, and how it helps the environment. So I'm excited for you to join us, let's go. So Black Bear Composting is an organics recycling company focusing on food waste and yard trimmings. Um, located in uh, just north of Waynesboro, focused on collecting materials in Charlottesville, Albemarle County, and the central Shenandoah Valley. And now is one of our main composting areas. You've got uh, our north compost pad, which has a, a few windrows on it, active piles of compost, um, composting at different stages. You can see a tall pile of overs, things that were too big to go through the screen and during the screening process. Uh, you're also seeing our mixing pad, which is where we take inbound materials and then mix them up to recipe with things like leaves and wood chips. So this is a rain garden that collects uh, uh, rain during storm events and we collect that water because we can use it as part of the composting process. So composting requires water, we use the water to actually wash out uh, our containers. So the whole process takes about six months from start to finish. First two months are the active composting process where things are breaking down. Next four months are the curing phase where the compost piles are starting to be populated by the beginnings of the uh, soil food web. So our turned windrows need to be turned uh, five times during a period of 15 days where the temperature is over 130 degrees. And they need, they need to be turned that often because during that process, those high temperatures will sterilize any sort of weed seed, fruit seed, or foodborne pathogen. And all the heat in the pile is on the inside of the pile. The outside of the pile is relatively ambient temperature, the outside temperature. Um, so by turning it, what we're doing is we're making sure that every bit of that pile is exposed to those high temperatures. So Black Bear works with anyone who has food waste or other organic waste. We like to say we have composting solutions for work, school, and home. We like the arid static pile method of composting because we can do more materials in a smaller amount of space on the ground with less labor and less machine time. So we don't need a loader moving it five times within 15 days. Um, by forcing air through the pile that the pile always has the microbes in the pile that need air, water, and food to do their job, they always have a steady source of air because you're forcing air through that pile. And uh, it works quite well. Materials that present problems for us are, are inorganic materials, things that are not going to break down during the natural composting process. So those tend to be metals, glass, and plastic. So with the finished product, uh, first thing we do is we make sure that we are getting some of that finished product back to our subscription customers or our commercial customers. Um, residential customers get a little bit of compost back every month and our commercial accounts get compost back on a yearly basis and they can either use it themselves or donate it to a local community garden. Uh, we donate a fair amount of compost as well and, uh, and then we sell the rest. So we sell it to um, landscapers, gardeners, small farms, and people who work on, uh, on establishing turf. Options when it comes to organics recycling. So the best way to do it would be for you to compost at home. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. If you've got the space and, and the interest, it's, um, it's definitely a doable thing. And you should, uh, I would recommend trying it. It's the best way to do it. Um, and if you can't do that because you don't have the space or you don't, you've tried it and you prefer a different way of doing it, we've got uh, great uh, drop-off locations here in the area um, at the Charlottesville Farmers Market, at um, the McIntyre Recycling Center, at the IV Material Utilization Center, and in the valley there are also um, drop-off locations uh, in Stanton and in Harrisonburg. And we also have uh, compost collection services such as Black Bear. 
Well, thank you for uh, for coming out and touring our facility. So happy to have you out here and show everybody around and uh, and appreciate the time and keep composting. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you learned a lot. And until next time, keep composting.